Brakatei hawa, brakatei hau shai, brakatei hawa, brakatei hau shai, brakatei hawa, brakatei hau shai. Kala ya hawa ba shim yao shai, masana kabat salak ya yam, shalawan wa kasat la abakyar. You know, peace and blessings to the elect out there that's pushing his word in sincerity and truth, man. You know, double honest to the elders of pastor GMS. Um, this is GMS on the sit downs, back with the lesson. Um, today's lesson is going to be named Stay Wise, Stay Humble. You know, because that's a very important thing and it's true. In this thing of ours, like Apostle Gabar always says, you know, this is a very important thing that a lot of brothers forget about or stumble, stumble with, you know. So um, I'm just going to go into this topic today. Showing you how it would be a good manner to be, to live. First Peter chapter 2 verse 13. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors. So you see it says, submit yourselves, uh, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man. For the Lord's sake, you know, for the Lord's sake. So it's the will of the Most High. For example, if the Most High has put somebody above you in the camp, you know, or maybe even at your job, that's that's the Lord. That's the Lord's will, man. That's the the will of Yahweh Hashem Shai. and you have to submit yourself, man. But uh, especially in in in. Uh, and the rank system that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has set up, man, especially there. The ranking system that the Most High has set up. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for Yahweh's sake, whether it be to the king as a supreme, as supreme, or unto governors, as unto them that are sent by him, for the punishment of evildoers, and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of the Most High, that with well-doing he may be uh, made put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. With silence. Uh, gone. For so is the will of the Most High, that with well-doing, so with well-doing he may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. Now what's the well-doing? The well-doing is to accept and to be humble. If somebody tells you you're going off or you're being wicked <clears throat> and that, that man is above you, you should take it humbly, you know, you, 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 should, you, you should stay humble, accept it, be patient, and if it's done wrongfully, the most I see is it, man, and, and the most I will de deal with it, you know, and it's going to say that if you read further, and we're gonna do that. Um, where was I? Verse 15. Um, For so is the will of Yahweh, that with well doing ye may put up, put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, you know, as free, and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of the Most High. Honor all men, love the brotherhood. This is also a very important thing, man. Love the brotherhood. It's not about who knows the uh, most scriptures, who is the best in reading. You know, we 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 brothers, man. We need to be happy. We we are together in this truth, man. You have brothers out there that that doing this work on their own, man. You know. You got to be happy with the brotherhood you're in, man. If you have a couple of brothers around you that you can study with, that you can, you know, do this work with, hey, you got to be happy, man. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear the most high, honor the king. Servants, be subject to your masses with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the forward. So this is a very important thing, man. Basically, we 
are set up in a ranking system. So, whoever is put above you, you should be you should be uh, should be submissive unto that person, man. You can't come with a with a loud mouth saying you don't know nothing. Everyone has his gift first and foremost, and it's truth. The one knows many scriptures. The other knows many breakdowns. The other is 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 spiritual, and but doesn't know very uh, uh a lot of scriptures. The other one is is basically a physician. He knows which herbs you should take and stuff. So if you're the one that knows a lot of scriptures, you can't go head to head with the physician and say he's nothing, even when the Most High has put him above you. Let's say he's the third in rank and you are the fifth or the sixth in rank, but you know a lot of scriptures. That doesn't give you a reason to go to get at him for not knowing as many scriptures as you do. You know, you need to be subjected unto the people that the Most High has put above you, man. You know, servants be su subject to your masters with all fear. And who are our masters? Basically, the, the, the apostles, man, the elders. You know, you can't go at the elders and, and, and basically uh, go out there and put up videos all the time. And, uh, and uh, you know, accusing things uh, wrongfully or, or say they, they are repeating the same thing uh, for years now, you know. Subge uh, uh, submit yourself man be subjected to your masters with all fear not only to the good and gentle so not only to the ones that are good the ones that are gentle but also to the forward let's look up the word forward um, but also to the forward Crooked, curved, metap, perverse, wicked, unfair, unfair, surely forward. And if you go in the, in the Hebrew, it also says twisted. It also says twisted. So if somebody in a higher rank gets at you with a twisted mind, not knowing if it's... Um, uh, accusation is, is good or wrong he is accusing uh, accusing you of, of, of things not knowing he's wrong and, and he gets at you he's coming straight and he's being angry and stuff you know picture that 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 um, picture it for a moment if somebody above above you in a, with a higher rank gets at you with a twisted mind which you believe is 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 off he's accusing you wrongfully basically then you should take it humble humble man and you should should uh, still be subjected unto those people that are above you man also to the forward for this is thankworthy if a man for conscience toward Yahweh and the grief Suffering wrongfully. It's like, yeah. Suffering wrongfully, man. So the most I likes you to do, to be gentle, basically. The most I likes you to be gentle when somebody is uh, uh, accusing you wrongfully, man. You know? He's putting, he thinks he's putting judgment upon you, but he's, he's wrong, man. You gotta know, you gotta know that you shouldn't blame somebody even if, uh, until you know that is the truth man until you have the facts together man you know and then you, you, you can rebuke somebody and if you are the one that's being rebuked you should take it um, patient and humble man you know and then you should endure that grief that suffering wrongfully like it says that's what the most I likes. For what glory is it? If when ye be buffed for your faults, buffed, let's look, uh, look up that word buffed. Buffed. To strike with the fist. Give one a blow with the fist. 
to melt threat, threat with violence and contumely. So this ex explains a lot, man. So you have two things you can do. You can be very violent with fist, with fighting. If somebody in a higher rank accuses you wrongfully, blames you for something you didn't do, rebukes you wrongfully, you can go violent at him, fight with him, even though you're both brothers in this truth, you can fight. That's the option. But the most I doesn't want that. The most I wants you to take it patiently and to stay humble because he the most I has put him above you. First Peter chapter two verse twenty for what glory is it if when ye be buffed up uh, buffed for your uh, faults you 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 starting to fight and stuff, ye shall take it patiently. But if when ye do well and suffer for it Ye take it patiently. This is acceptable with the Most High. To the Most High, that's acceptable, man. To suffer for it and take it patiently. If that man rebukes you wrongfully, the Most High will deal with it, man. It's not up to you to fight with, with the man or to, you know, put judgment upon him. No, it's, it's according to the Most High. Because the Most High has put him above you. You gotta stay humble, man. Subject, su uh, submit yourselves to the to uh, to the ordinances of man for the Lord's sake. You gotta do this for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai doesn't put people above you for no reason, man. Let's say uh, this one guy is in the truth for eight nine years, and then somebody is in the truth for two years and starts acting out crazy until that peop uh, until that guy. That's in this truth for nine years, man. You can't do that, man. You gotta, you gotta know your place. You gotta know where the Most High has put you, man. You know, to the forward. Uh, like it said, to the forward, man. Servants, be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, because you have brothers in this truth that have been twelve, thirteen years, ten, nine, seven years in this truth, and you only. You you are only two years in this truth, but they are very um, inspired by things you learn. You know, they want to learn from you too, even if they are seven eight years in this truth, man. Good and gentle, or when you don't understand that you're going off all the time, they keep um, they stay. Uh, you know. They stay um, calm with you. They are good and gentle towards you, you know. But also to the forward, you know. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. Love righteousness, ye that be, uh, ye that be uh, judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart, with a good mind, because the word heart there is la'ab, which means mind in the Hebrew. And in simplicity of heart, seek him. Simplicity of mind, seek him. For he will be found of them that tempt him not. Tempt him not. Those like, like two thirds do, man. Two thirds be tempting the most I day in, day out, man. You know? Saying, I don't see the, uh, I don't see your God, you know, doing things that are wicked. You, you are being told that it's, it's extremely wicked to fuck another man's wife, but still you think nothing can happen to you, you know. For he will be found of them that tempt him not. So the people who are not, who are not tempting Yahweh Bashim Shai. There will Yahweh Bashim Yahushai be found, man, and showed himself unto such as do not distrust him. Here's the point. For forward thoughts separate from the Most High. So if you have twisted thoughts, crooked thoughts, wicked thoughts, 
and basically you know are twisted all the time then that will separate you from the most high man and his power when it is tried reprove um uh, when it is tried reprove the unwise so the most high is going to show you who's unwise man he's going to show you that some people are forward in their thoughts in their ways you know so if somebody forward comes up to you in the camp or wherever the most high is going to reprove the unwise man when when the power of the most high is, is is being brought out there man you know for into uh malicious for into a malicious soul wisdom had shall not enter nor dwell in the body that is subjected unto sin Gone, man. So yeah, the point was that that forward uh, man is gonna be reproved by the Most High, man. It's not not up uh, unto you to to take the power in your own hands. So like like the scripture said, to uh, to be uh, buffed for your faults, man. You know, to go go out there and fight, strike fists. Matthew chapter 18 verse 4 uh, let me start at 1 uh, at the same time came the disciples unto Yahushai saying who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven and Yahushai called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said verily I say unto you except ye be converted and become as a little child uh, as little children ye shall not enter in the kingdom of heaven Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as a little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receive it me. But so let me explain this real quick. You gotta have the mind state of a little child in this truth, man. You gotta have the mind state of a little child in this truth. Especially towards the people that are above you in rank, man. But also to the people that are uh, under you, man. Also to the people that are under you. You know, like the mentality of a child is when you're small and your mother asks you to uh, go get something from the supermarket. You go one time. But... As soon as you get older, 14, 15, 16 years old, and your mother asks you to do something, you're going to be like, why? Why you don't do it yourself? You know, you start getting rebellious. You start getting that rebellious spirit. But if you're small, you don't understand that maybe, you know, your 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 mother uh, is too lazy to go or whatever, you know. You don't think about things like that. You just go. It's your mother. You go for her, you know. But as soon as you get that rebellious spirit, you say, hey, why why you don't go yourself? You lazy or, or something? You know? So we got to be like that little child that just jumps up and goes to the supermarket for his mother, man. That's how we got to be in this truth too. Towards the people that are set above us. That's why we got to submit ourselves unto the people that the Most High has put above you, man. You know, and Yahushai called the little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and, and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter in the kingdom of heaven. So that means that you got to be very humble, man, and very brotherly towards your brothers and, and towards the people that are, that are set above you. Going on, whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So, being extremely humble towards your brothers will make you the greatest in the kingdom of heaven, man. You gotta have a very humble spirit towards everyone that is in this truth and tries to learn the ways of Yahweh Bashem Verse 6. Uh, Verse, fifth, verse, verse 5 again, and whoso, whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receive it me. So if you receive a little child in the name of Yahweh Shai, meaning 
somebody who just came in this truth if you receive him in the in this truth and you gotta be humble towards him with this truth then the most I will receive you Yahweh Shem Shai will receive you man and whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me verse, uh, verse 6 but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me it were bad so if if you up there offending people who just came in the truth who, who are just in the truth for one year two years even then you know you gotta know certain things but still let's say you you are the uh, second in command and you out there screaming I am your elder we had a guy like that in the camp very proud and stuff you know screaming I am your elder from the top of his lungs but who show whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea so this all goes back to to the first Peter chapter 2 where it says that you sh you got to be e uh you got to be patient man you got to be patient if somebody deals forward with you man the most i uh want you to to suffer patiently man this is acceptable with Yahweh Shem Shai to suffer patiently because this guy Yahweh Shai said <laughs> it would be better if, if this guy would kill himself man because when Yahweh Shem Shai is gonna deal with him hey he he's not gonna fool around with you man judgment is gonna come upon your fucking ass man for offending someone who just came in the truth who just started learning you know you got to be humble towards all the brothers despise what rank it is man what of what rank he is if he is of the lowest rank of the camp you got to respect him man you got to you know be humble towards him not meaning respect you know if he's going off he's going off like the most i says i'm not a respecter of persons you got i mean you gotta be humble towards him, man. Give him his time to do what the most I want him to do. Let the spirit do his work. Be humble like a little child. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 23. A man's pride shall bring him low. A man's pride shall bring him low. But honor shall uphold the humble spirit. Yeah, if you're humble, honor shall uh, uphold the humble spirit. That's why the scripture in Matthew, Yahweh Shai says, um, uh, Matthew chapter 18, verse 4, Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as a little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So, that's going to be your honor, man, in the kingdom. If you if you deal if you are having a if you are having a humble spirit in this kingdom, you know, being humble towards all the brothers of low and high stature, hey man, it's gonna be your honor, man. On that honor shall uphold you because that will make you one of the greatest in the kingdom of heaven, man. The words of Yahweh Shai. But a man a man's pride shall bring him low. So if you're screaming from the top of your lungs, you you are the el your the elder. <laughs> you know, you're being proud, man. Even though you just uh, third or second in command from uh, from a camp, and this camp only uh, uh, you know has five people or something. Come on, man. Act normal, man. Be humble. Learn everyone, you know, with a humble spirit. So yeah, man, we gotta be humble in this truth, man. Khan, also dead. Slakia, yeah, I forgot to bring it out. Um, Slakia, yeah. because some people just don't know.
the scripture, I guess. Um, 17. I don't know. This is Satan, man. This is Satan. No problem. I have my Bible here. Sec uh, First Timothy chapter 5, verse 17. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. Yeah, man. The, so, you gotta honor the men that are above you, man, that the Most High has set above you. You know, especially the elder apostles of GMS. So if you are being a snake like uh, Alize, a, 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 a alcoholic drink with poison in it, <laughs> you gotta watch out, man. You know, even even though um, the elder apostles are not little ones, still, man, if you if you offend the little one, you you should already kill yourself, man. Let's say you are offending true men of Yahweh Bashim Shai. What you think you gotta do with yourself, man? That's why the, when judgment is passed upon that nigga Alize, hey, you really gonna get it, man. You being a fucking demon, man. And everyone who goes against the elder apostles of GMS, who got this truth, who bring out this truth, who learned most of these new existing camps, hey, man. Y'all, if you're going against them, man, judgment will show what's gonna happen with you, man. You, 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 you could better kill yourself now, man. It will better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. So I got one tip for y'all guys, man. It's better to do it now than to do it to wait upon the Most High to do it for you, man. Because the scriptures say the Most High is gonna uh, put the great your greatest fears upon you, man. He's gonna grab the thing you fear the most, and that is the thing where he is gonna punish you with, you know. So yeah, man, that was the video. Stay wise, stay humble, man. That's all I can say, man. You know, God Allah Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, double honors to the elders, apostles of GMS for teaching us the truth. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.